When do you think that would be hitting? I think uh, this needs to be in the bottom for about a year to reach uh, close to its peak, you know, mm -hmm. and get kind of the top of the plateau. It'll continue to move for years. 
trick is, I th you know, they make an enjoyable tie. I think it's good now, but it's very good. It'll, it'll improve more yeah, it'll over a period of time than that. What will change? Yeah. Uh, it'll get smoother. It's got a little edge to it right now. It'll lose the edge, and it'll get uh, just more complex taste and more layered, layered flavors in the sort of the back half of the tower. Uh, one of the whole purposes of Meritage is to get the wine more round and more supple and more layered right from in earlier on. Which of course the whole idea behind Bordeaux blending is to uh, is to make the calves more approachable and make them more interesting when they're younger. Uh, very slight variation in the flavor profile. Yeah. Rather than a single vineyard like uh, the Zinfandel was a blend of two vineyards, uh, the Cabernet was all from one vineyard. This is not a vineyard blend, this is a barrel select blend. So we go through and taste the barrels that we like the best. The ones we like the best we put X on, and those become part of this blend. So this is a barrel select program. And it's not relevant to any vineyard. So we've got uh, we've got uh, five different Cabernet vineyards. So it could be from any of those vineyards. It'll vary from year to year because we really taste the barrels individually. And uh, four different barrel vineyards, three different Cabernet Franc vineyards, uh, three different Malbec vineyards. Got all five Bordeaux varieties in it. Uh, Cabernet, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, Bordeaux, Malbec. Why this, if, if this is your favorite, and this is kind of the, the pick of the litter, so to speak, why do you have two more grapes in Red Rex? Uh, because Red Rex was made for a younger palate and we wanted to uh, round it out more. And we wanted to add, uh, well, that's not the entire reason. That's part of the reason. Uh, probably, probably the primary reason is, is that a lot of our blending is governed by tradition. And traditionally, you never add Syrah to a Bordeaux blend because Syrah is from Bordeaux. Syrah is from their own district. Uh, you would never add Sangiovese because they don't even grow Sangiovese in France. Well, Red Rex has Sangiovese and Bordeaux, yeah, or, or Syrah, that starts out as a Bordeaux blend, like this, uh, although it's not quite as select. But then it's got Sangiovese and Syrah added to it, that's the other two grapes. So that's, uh, that's uh, outside the box. <laughs> Uh, the wines are really uh, allow us to clean out whatever's left over, it's like from Merlot Cuvée, yeah. uh, Shiraz Cuvée. Uh, Red Rex actually uh, may have started out that way, but it be, it's become our most technical blend actually. And it takes the longest blend of all the wines. Uh, Which one is that? Red Rex. Red Rex. Yeah. Seven, seven months blend. But you know the Shiraz actually adds something that none of the Bordeaux grapes have. And that's Focus right at the very bottom of the palate that none of those grapes have, and the Petit Verdot comes the closest. But you, if you add too much Petit Verdot, the wine gets very astringent, uh, and that doesn't happen when you add Syrah. And then the uh, Sangiovese is very frontal uh, experience, like Merlot, so it actually accentuates the nose much more than Merlot does. So this is uh, actually a very traditional style. Uh, we certainly like the red red. Well, I was saying that each of those additional players bring something to the table. Um, if you add a little Syrah to the blend, it actually lightens up the cavity a bit. It makes it more presentable sooner. And as Robert said, when you put, I always say that Sangiovese is shaped like a tall, skinny woman, and Merlot is shaped like a little fatter woman and a little shorter. So that if you put the two of them together, it actually gives the nose a double step, or a little bit more emphasis, if you will, because of the, the two layers there. So to the Bordeaux blend, which is really our flagship, in order to address that younger audience and to make the wines a little softer and more presentable, those two elements 